Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for Austin Powers. For this pattern, you're going to need some dark blue bands, some black bands, some white, some caramel brown. For the eyes, I'm going to be using a couple of small blue beads. You can use blue beads, green beads, brown beads, or bands of those colors. You can also use a white bead and draw the people on. For the glasses, I'm just going to use a twist tie. Um, it's a little black one, the kind that comes with electronic devices. I like to hold on to these. If you've got a wire or something else you'd like to use, you can do that as well. And I know some people I've, I've seen, they print out and cut out a picture of the character's eyes and glasses and glue it on or onto beads. So you have some options there. Otherwise, you'll want to have on hand a hook and holding hook, a piece of dental floss if you are threading on smaller beads. You can also use a thin wire or a needle and thread, um, beading needle and thread. Your loom is going to be in the offset configuration and... Mm, uh, last note is that I'll be doing everything with you except two of the ruffles I have pre-made, but I will show you how to make how to make them with me. So let's begin by making our feet. We're going to take a single black band, wrap it on the hook one, two, three times, and we're going to <clears throat> pull this onto a doubled over single band. And push this over to the side for a minute. We're going to do a second one. Wrap it one, two, three times. Pull it onto two bands. Put the other end on. Slide it down a little because we're going to put a wrapped band in the middle. So take a single block. Wrap it on the end of the hook one, two, three times. And we're going to take that middle piece, the second one that we made, and we're going to take the side closest to the end and pull it over the newly wrapped piece. So that that will now sit in the middle. And we're going to put, <clears throat> we're going to put this onto two more bands. All, all black here. Now take two black bands and run it through everything that's on your hook. Put the other side back on, even it out a little bit. And we're gonna put this onto five sets of double blue bands. So take two bands together, end of the hook, slide through. What did I say five? I believe we've got eight. Mm -mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure why I wrote five. This is two, three. Oh, that was the hand. The hand I was looking at. The hand we don't have as many. Four. and eight. You can leave this where it is or you can put it onto another hook. That's up to you. I'm gonna just make my next one here. Take a single black, wrap it one, two, three times. Put it onto a doubled over single. I'm gonna show you that one more time slowly just in case. Um, in case any of you didn't catch it. Stretch, twist, back onto itself onto the end and slide it over. Push that down just a little bit and we're gonna start the next part. Single wrapped one, two, three times. Hold on to two bounds. Replace, wrap a single on the end. One, two, let's try that again. One, two, three times. 
pull the piece of the middle one over so that that wrapped band is in between. Take two black bands, slide them through that first set. And then we're going to take two black bands and pull it through all of those pieces both of those pieces. We've got two sections here now. And pull this onto eight sets of double blue bands. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Now we want to turn our legs so that they're facing in the direction that we want. So right now the small piece is facing in on the first one. And the second one it's facing the opposite direction the small piece is facing out. So if you want both legs to be facing to the right, you can leave them this way. I want my legs to be facing opposite directions. So you can use a separate, I'll show you this with a separate hook, I think. We're gonna pull off the one we wanna flip around, turn it backwards, and transfer it back over. But you can probably just pull this off with your hand if you're careful and do it that way. So now both of my legs are facing outwards, long part facing out, that's good. That's how I want it. I'm going to take two blues and slide it through and then you can put this to the side. I'm going to just put this onto a holding hook for now. Let's make our arms. We're going to take a single skin tone. Um, you can use two if you want, I'm just going to use one. Wrap it one, two, three times. Pull that onto two skin tone bands. And then this is going to go onto one set of double white bands. And onto one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of double blue. going to be adding the wrist cuff the same way that we did that I did in my video for the telepathic twins so that's something we're gonna add after the fact um, skin tone wrap one two three times pull it onto two skin tone bands onto one set of double white bands And then on to seven sets of double blue bands. I have no idea why I wrote down five. This is definitely seven. Mm -hmm. This is two, three, four, five, And seven. Okay, come over to your loom. And we're gonna start on the body. Once everything is attached, then we'll do the, the arm cuffs after. We're gonna take two white bands, come from the top center to the second down in the center, and repeat from the second center to the third center, another two white bands. Take two blues, come out from the second center to the second right, and two blues from the second center to the second left. Now we're going to come down 
on either side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times with double blue bands. Starting at that second peg down. side, same thing. row, we want the, the bands to end just above the other two. So on either side, we are ending at the ninth peg down, and in the middle we're going to use blue bands now from the third peg to the ninth peg, double banding our way. So this is one set, two, three, four, five and six sets of double blue bands. We can put on some holding bands across. We're going to start at the third pegs down, come from the left to the right with a single and pull that up over the third middle row peg. Repeat for the fourth pegs down and the fifth pegs. Make another triangle across the six pegs down and the seventh and the eight. We're going to take our arms and put them onto the second pegs down on either side. So you're going to sort of put your hook directly over that peg and bring, actually we tilt it a little to the side because we're going to bring those bands over. Press them down, make sure they're on. The legs, you're going to take the double blue band that those legs are on, stretch it from your ninth peg down on one side to the ninth peg down on the other. This is where we finish lumen. Stretch it out and get between the legs to pull the band that they're on over that center peg just above. For our little coattail piece, we're taking a single blue, wrapping it one, two, three times. You can do it an extra time if you'd like. We're going to put it onto two sets of double blue bands. So that's one and two. And this is going to go onto the ninth peg down over the band that's holding the legs. This is for his little coattail. Let's make one for the opposite side. Take a single, wrap it one, two, three times. Pull it onto two sets of double blue bands. Pop that on on the opposite side. Okay. We are ready to loom this up now. So let's go in at the side and we want the bottom two bands. They're coming diagonally down here. So take the open part of your hook, point it away from you towards the top of the loom. Put your hook through the bands and press back until you can grab those bottom two. You're going to bring them over onto the next peg. Press back the triangle band, grab your bottom two, loop forward. We're going to continue like this right to the top. There's nothing, nothing else in your way here other than the holding bands. When you get to the arm, you want to kind of wiggle out, make sure that your those diagonal two from the second center to the second right or second left are loose and easy to see. You can pull them out to the side too if it helps. Put your hook through the arm right to the bottom, grab those two and bring them into the middle second peg. We loop up the opposite side exactly the same way. 
you see any bands coming loose, try and grab them quickly and then you can hopefully still repair the damage or worst case scenario, you can weave them in and put them on a C-clip before things might unravel. But hopefully, hopefully you got a good eye here and you're watching everything very carefully. Loop into the middle. We're gonna go down to the center right under the legs, grab the bottom two, the only two there, bring them forward and loop straight up to the top now. Hold on to the bands on the top center peg and you can remove everything else along the way. the bounce in the top center peg and pull off the rest. You can just stay here for now. If you have a side that you'd prefer as your front, make sure your hook is pointed through so that you can see that front side. It should be more or less the same here, but yeah. Okay. Next up, we're going to go back to the loom. We're going to start on the hair. And I added some of my hair on afterwards, so this might look a teensy bit different, but it should be pretty darn close to hair colored bands. I'm using my caramel brown, top center to the top right. Two from the top center to the top left. Now we're going to lay down five bands from the top left to the second left. And on the opposite side, Put down five bands. This will give some added thickness and roundness to the hair. Um, we've got three bands down on the middle row, top, that top peg to second peg. From here, we're going to have two caramel bands on each of the rows. Okay. Pull this up for you right away. So we've got five, five. Oh, five, three, five, two, two, two. We're switching to skin tone, coming down with double bands three times in the middle, from the third peg to the fourth, from the fourth peg to the fifth, and from the fifth peg to the sixth. And then we'll come down twice with double bands, skin tone on each side. Two skin tone bands from your fifth right to your sixth center, and two from your fifth left to your sixth center. Take a single skin tone band, stretch it, twist it, double it over, bring it across your third pegs down. Take another one, stretch it, double it over, and we're going to put that across the fifth pegs down. Make another triangle. One caramel comes across the second pegs down. It's a single, you don't need to double it over. For that last set, we need to make some eyes, but yeah, we'll do that now. Um, if you are using bands, you'll probably want to use a green. I'll show you how to do that quickly. Take a single, wrap it on your hook one, two, three times. Take another single, wrap it on your hook one, two, three times and pull both of these onto a single skin tone band. So you would just slide it right on like so. And this goes across from your fourth right peg to your fourth left peg. Okay. I'm gonna show you, um, if you're using a bead with a large hole, you can put it directly onto your hook and transfer it from there. And if you are using beads with a smaller hole, you'll want to put a thin wire or piece of floss through both. Grab a skin tone, run your wire floss through, and then we go back over and back through from the opposite direction. Grab, 
grab hold and pull until the beads are on. And regardless of the kind of eyes that you've made, they will be going onto the fourth pegs down on either side. We want to get between them. Get your hook in between the band and pull over the fourth peg down in the middle. Let's add our body on. Make sure the front is facing towards you. And we're going to transfer the bands from your hook onto the sixth center peg down. If you find it helpful, you can stretch this piece over a nearby peg and then it'll be easier to loop inside. Okay, just before we go on, uh, we're going to do the extension for the hair. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this. Initially, I stitched on these last pieces. I'm going to show you how to make it as an extension that goes just from the fifth peg to the third. If you want the whole head to be kind of rounder, you can take off bands from that top one so that it's just two bands and two, two and two, and have a longer chain extending up. But I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do here and just, just stick with me. Be easiest. Take a single brown, wrap it one, two, or three times onto your hook, pull it onto two sets of double brown bands. This is our, our hair colored brown. Take the bands on your hook and put those onto your third peg down on the side. Put your hook through that wrapped band at the bottom, so it's going to be just on the end of that chain and pull onto the fifth peg down. Grab a piece out of the middle of the chain and pull it onto that fourth peg down in the center. So onto the in-between peg. And that keeps it from stretching out to the side and coming loose. We're going to do this for the other side as well. Single wrap it two or three times. Pull onto two sets of double brown bands. It's one and two. And we connect it the same way. So turn the zoom around, put this onto your third peg down, get inside the bottommost piece and pull that onto your fifth peg down. Ah, not so easy. There we go. Take a piece out of that middle chain, pull it over in the middle. Okay, let's, let's start by going, I'm going to stretch this down a bit, under the neck piece. We're going to get the two bands and bring them to the side. Um, now I actually laid this out a second time so I think mine are in the reverse order now. But you'll be coming up to the left, to the right first. I can't remember. I think you're coming up to the right first. I'm going to the left first. At any rate, you want to get the top two from under and pull them over to the side. I want to make sure these are the right ones because this looks kind of wonky. E. And then we're going to the opposite side. And then we're looping up. We're going to loop straight to the top of the loom in the middle. And grab all three on that top one. Now on your left side, you're going to loop up the bottom two once. side a little. And um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take a separate hook, take the brown bands off of that third peg down, pull it over to the side, go into the fourth peg down and loop up your bottom two skin tones from under the arm, oh, sorry, under the eyes. Put those brown bands back onto that third peg and this will keep it from getting caught under the skin tone. You don't want the skin to show up on top. Now go back inside, get your bottom two brown, and then push back your holy mat, loop up your bottom five, and loop into the middle, not top peg. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Loop up once, remove those brown bands, loop up again, put the back brown bands back on, and loop to the top now. Bottom two brown bands and the five brown bands and we can loop into the middle. 
take a single brown band, and I had one ready. Where did I put it? Okay, we'll get a new one. Get a brown band ready, hair colored band on a couple of your left hand fingers. Take your hook, point the open part away from you. Put your hook through the bands on the top center peg. Make sure you go through them all or something will unravel. Put your single on and give a little tension. And as you are pulling back, you want to start to turn your hook so that the open part is facing up. And then you're going to grab the other side and pull one piece over the other and over the top of the hook to create a slip knot. Hold on to this. You can put it on a C clip now or on a hook. And we're going to take this off of the loom. Very carefully remove. We don't want to stretch out the bands too much or you will have a um, uh, funny kind of stretchy face. I want to kind of adjust, poke the eyes through. Um, now I'm feeling like some of my bands are a little, so I'm going to tighten them up. And we also have to hide this securing band. So I'm going to turn to the back, put my hook under a nearby couple of bands, grab that securing band and pull it through. And then I can go under another band nearby, pull through. So the one further from the end goes over and over top. And I'm going to do a little weaving this way just to, like I said, catch my loose band here. It's kind of a stretchy one. Okay, we have everything a little adjustment. And when you're ready, you can put that securing band onto a C-clip. And I'll show you how to make the handcuffs next. The wrist cuffs, arm cuffs, sleeve cuffs, whatnot. onto a C clip. There we go. Okay, take a single white, wrap it. Oh. One, two, three, uh, one and two times so you'll have three loops. Pull that onto five sets of double white bands. Take a single white, put it on the end, pull it through. Um, actually, let's do this a little differently. We're going to put the hook through the tail end, the first part. So this is that first wrap band. We're going to put our hook through and then pull a single through both of those. So this is now going to stretch out, go over the arm. And you can take that single, pull one side over the other, and you can weave this in and put it on a C-clip, or you can stretch it out, wrap it over the arm one, two, three times, and position it just under that cuff. And that will hold just fine as well. Okay, let's make one for the other arm. Single wrapped once and twice, hold on to five sets of double white bands, one, two, three, four, and five, put a single through, again. Hold on. Put it through that cap band and then pull the single through. You can put one end over the other now if you want to. Um, we're going to put this over the other hand. Stretch. Pull it off the hook. Twist over one, two, three times. And if you want to make it even tighter just for security's sake you can always do that. Now for the the ruffles. I'm going to show you how to make one and I'm going to ask you to pause to do the other two. You can do this wider by making four across and you can have, if you want just two ruffles, you can do that as well, like two rows. 
We're going to take a single, wrap it on the hook one, two, three times, nice and tight. Take a single, stretch it, twist it, double it over, pull it through. Repeat two more times. Single wrapped one, two, three times. Hold on to a doubled over single. And one more. Now, as I said, if you want this to be wider across, you can oops, add an extra one. Take a single, pull it through all of those. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to hold on to this for now, but you can use another hook if you want to. I'm going to come through on the body. Uh, this one I'm just going to come in by the bottom of the white by the neck. Grab that piece, pull it to the back. You can put it on a C-clip now or hold on to it a second. And we're going to come through from the other side, a similar spot. Grab that piece, pull it to the back. Check that it's kind of even. Pull one side over the other, put it on a C-clip. We're almost done. I've got two more ruffles to show you and then we'll, we'll make the glasses. Okay, I'm going to get my next ruffles at the ready. As I said, if you want to keep it on the hook until you're ready, that's fine. Um, I just find it more comfortable to have it on the fingers. Now this one I'm going to come through just underneath and you might want to just play around a little bit with positioning here. Grab the next one, pull it through, go to the other side, grab it, pull it to the back. I'm going to see if it's where I want it, which it kind of is, yep. and put that on the C-clip. You can even weave it under the under the band that you've already got there if you want to have fewer bands. And our last one, you can decide if you want one of them to sit on top over here. You can put it in higher. I'm going to put another one on the bottom. And I'm actually going to run it through pretty much the same space that I've used already. Maybe just under that. Okay. Grab it, pull it to the back. Go through from the other side. Grab it, pull it to the back. You can always leave this on a C-clip while you're waiting. Um, that's okay. Let's put this onto the C-clip that's there. Now I'm going to show you one trick. Let's say that you find that this piece is sitting really low. What you can do is lift it up and pull it over the piece that's above. Now that will make them kind of stand out more, but it will also tighten them up. So that's if you feel there's too much space in between. You can always pull a piece out and again readjust it. I actually like the way this was sitting, so I'm going to try to put it back where it was. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Okay, last thing is the glasses. Now this you're going to have to play around and experiment a little bit, but I'll show you what I did. I took a really thin and malleable piece of a twist tie and you might find one that's sturdier but will require the use of pliers. I'm just going to twist it around into a circle, twist around into a circle, press backwards, press backwards, push it through the face very carefully here to find a space that will allow some movement. And the same for the opposite side. This is the this is the hardest part for me, I think. Is just um shaping things. And on the back you're gonna twist them together, or you can tape them, or you can glue them, depending on what materials you've used. And then you can use your pliers or your hands to kind of shape the glasses. Um make sure your eyes are still showing and adjust it to where you want it to be. So there's Austin Powers, and I thank you for watching, and I've got my a couple other things coming up soon, so stay tuned. Bye.